Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom wordmark logo animation in After Effects. For your practice, I've provided a link to a vector logo in the description below. Let's jump right in. First, we need to be inside After Effects. Once you're in, go to the project panel on the left side of your workspace. Double click in the project panel to open the import file dialog box. Navigate to the location of your logo file. Select the file and ensure that in the drop down menu, you choose Composition, Retain Layer Sizes. Click Import. Our logo composition has been imported and is now visible in the project panel. Double click on the logo composition to open it in the timeline panel. You should now see multiple layers that were originally from your Illustrator file. It's best to convert these Illustrator layers into shape layers to make them more flexible for animation. After this, you can delete the original Illustrator layers. It's always a good idea to stay organized, so let's rename the layers for clarity. Click once on a layer name to rename it and give it a descriptive title like the letter it represents. After renaming all the layers, select the background layer, if there is one, and lock it. Now, let's add a null object. Right click inside the timeline panel, select new, and choose null object. The null object will appear in the center of the composition, but we need to move it to the first letter of the logo. Now we need to parent the letter layers to the null object. Click and drag the pick whip from the letter layers to the null object layer to parent them. Now all the letter layers are connected to the null layer, and any movement of the null object will move the letters. Next, select the null object layer and press P to open the position properties. Click the stopwatch next to position to create the first keyframe. Now, Move the time indicator in the timeline to around frame 30. Click again to add another keyframe at this point. Go back to the first keyframe and change the position values so that the first letter of the logo moves to the center of the composition. If needed, turn on title action safe guides to ensure the letter is perfectly centered. Once done, select both keyframes and move them to around 3 seconds. Then lock the null object layer. Hide and lock other letters. Let's focus on animating the first letter. Now we'll add a circular animation around the first letter. Select the ellipse tool from the toolbar at the top or press Q on your keyboard. Click and drag on the composition to draw a circle around the first letter. Lower the opacity of the circle to reveal the letter behind it. If it's not aligned perfectly, you can adjust it manually. Duplicate the circle layer. Double click on the new circle layer to bring up the bounding box, and then hold Shift Control while dragging a corner to scale it up. Rename this new layer to Outer Circle and place it below the Inner Circle layer. Select the Outer Circle layer. Go to the track mat column in the timeline panel. In the track mat drop down, choose alpha inverted mat. After that, select both layers and increase the opacity value to 100%. You will see I just created a ring with two circles. Next, open the scale properties of both layers and add a keyframe. Then, select the time indicator and move it to around 15 frames. Add one more keyframe, then move the time indicator once again and create a keyframe at 30 frames. After that, move the time indicator back to the first frame and change the scale value to 0%. Then, move the time indicator to the second keyframe and select the inner circle layer only, changing the scale value to around 108%. Basically, I'm creating a thinner ring around this letter. After that, move the time indicator to the third keyframe then select the outer circle layer only and change the scale value, trying to match the inner circle's radius like this. Then select the inner circle once again and change the scale value to 0%. And set the time indicator to around frame 8. Then select the inner circle layer and change the scale value to around 35%. You can check the animation by dragging the time indicator. Alright, now select all the keyframes and change them to Bezier keyframes. 
After that, select the letter A layer, then move it to this point. Open the scale properties, add a keyframe, and set the scale value to 0%. Then move the time indicator to the next keyframe and change the scale value to 110%. Once again, move it and change the value to 100%. Alright, at this point, we can't see the letter A because it's below the circle layers. So, let's go to the Effects panel and search for the Set Mat effect. Then, simply drag and drop this effect onto the outer circle layer. Then, go to the Effects panel, click this option, and select the letter A. After that, check the Invert Mat box. Now, simply select the letter A layer and hide it from the timeline. Nice. Okay, let's see the animation preview. Select all the keyframes and change them to Bezier keyframes. Alright, we have successfully created our first letter animation. Now let's move on to the next chapter. Alright, so first we will create a circle wave animation. Simply select the ellipse tool and make sure the fill is set to none. And the stroke width should be around 10 pixels. Now create a circle with the ellipse tool like this, and adjust it a bit. After that, drag the time indicator to this point. Rename this layer as Wave Circle, and move it to this point. Next, open the scale properties of this layer, and add a keyframe. Then go to the search bar and type Stroke. You will find the Stroke Width under the Stroke option. Simply click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe, then move the time indicator to around 1 second, and change the stroke width to 0 pixels. Then, add a scale keyframe at this point. Go back to the first keyframe, and change the scale value to 0%. Check the animation. Alright, select the last keyframes, and change them to Bezier keyframes. Then go to the graph editor, select those points, then select the handle and move it this way to create a graph like this. Alright, now it looks much better. So I increased the timing of this wave circle animation. I also moved this layer forward a bit to match the letter A animation. All right, let's move forward. Select the outer circle layer and place the time indicator at the first frame. Then check the animation where the wave animation ends. So at this point, set the time indicator. Then add a keyframe and open the position properties of this layer. Add another keyframe. After that, move the time indicator forward a bit, then move this circle in this direction. Then, move the time indicator forward again. After that, turn on the letter E layer so we can see the letter E. And move the outer circle from letter A to letter E, like this. Then, uncheck this icon so that we can change the X and Y values of the scale individually. Now, simply change the Y value of the scale to zero, then, move back the time indicator and check the animation. At this point, I changed the Y value of the scale to around 15%. Now, check the animation. I see there is a small error. If I click this point, you will see these handles. We need to remove them. The simplest way to remove the handles is to go to the Pen Tool option, select Convert Vertex Tool, and simply click on this vertex to remove the handle. Alright, after that we can check how the animation looks. Alright, so I just selected the position keyframes of this layer and changed them to Bezier keyframes. Then, once again, check the animation. Adjust a keyframe. Then go to the graph editor, select those points, and move them like this.
Now it looks much better. Alright, after that, I'm going to create a line animation. So I simply select the pen tool and create a straight horizontal line like this from letter A to letter E. As you can see, the line is connected to the letter E. Let me adjust it a little bit. And then I change the color of this layer to yellow. Then, I rename this layer as Line. After that, I select this option and choose Trim Paths. Then, open the Trim Paths. Here you will get two values, Start and End. Create keyframes for both values. Change the End value to 0%, then move the Time Indicator to this point, and change the value to 100% for both properties. Now select the last keyframe of the end value and drag it this way. Then select the first keyframe of the start value and move it the other way. Check the animation. Then select all the keyframes and change them to Bezier keyframes. Next, go to the graph editor, select those points, select the handle, and drag it to create this kind of graph. After that, select the line layer, go to the search bar, and type cap for line cap. Under the line cap, you will find the cap options. Click on it. Then select the round cap option. It will change the edge of the line. Then, close the graph editor and check the animation. After that, select the Null layer and place it at the top of all the layers. Then, move the Time Indicator to this point. Select both keyframes and move them to this point. Then, open the Line layer. Move the Time Indicator to the last keyframe of the line. Then, select this keyframe and move it to this point. Now, select both keyframes and change them to Bezier keyframes. Then, go to the graph editor and change the graph like this. As you can see, our animation looks weird because some of our layers are not connected to the null layer. So, I select layers like the line layer and parent them to the null layer like this. Also, I select these layers and parent them to the null layer. Now, if I check the animation, it looks good. After that, place the time indicator where the circle wave animation finishes. Then, select the letter A and duplicate it. Turn it on so we can see it in our composition. After that, go to the effects panel and drag the set matte effect, dropping it onto the A2 layer. Then, go to the effects panel, select this option, and choose outer circle. Then, check the invert matte box. Now, if I move the time indicator, you can see we just created this effect. Let's animate the letters. First, unlock all the letter layers, then lock these other layers. After that, Turn on the visibility of the letters. Move these layers to around this point and open the scale properties, then add a keyframe. After that, uncheck this link. I am unchecking this link because I want to animate only the Y value of the scale. After that, simply create three more keyframes, one by one, like this. Then, at the first frame, change the Y value of the scale to 0%. At the second keyframe, the value should be 110%. At the third keyframe, the value should be 90%. And at the fourth keyframe, it will be 100% by default. Now select all the keyframes and change them to Bezier keyframes. Now we can see the animation. Alright, let's close the layers. 
After that, drag the time indicator to this point. Then select all the letter layers and move them to this point. Now we have to arrange them like this. Check the animation by dragging the time indicator. Then, select all the layers and move them forward a bit to match the overall animation. Alright, let's see the final preview. Nice. That's how you can create this kind of wordmark animation in After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and support the channel through the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.